Hey, yo gang, how's it going? Welcome to this uh, new episode. I just pulled it a couple hours ago. I do have something to show you. I, I pulled, obviously, on the new banner because my favorite character was on there, <laughs> which I got in... It was 60 pools, I think, so I got Barbara. Barb! Get out of here, Barb. Garbage weapon. Barbara. Barb, get away! Garbage weapon again. Ew. What do you do? And then I got two Rosarias in one. I even predicted. We're running out of primos. I'm actually poor. Please. What's this? This is our fifth. Yes. <laughs> That's my girl right there. We don't have to summon anymore. Let's go. Can we get maybe C1 just for fun? <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C2. <laughs> Give me C2, just for fun. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a little greedy. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, I never finished my sentence because I was so excited to show you guys I got two Rosarias. Uh, the video is going to be like a combination of all three, I guess. I'm going to be rambling a little bit, going to be showing you my characters, and going to be doing the event. So it's a combo of all three. Let me know what you think. I have no idea how this is going to go. Hello there, Dr. Livingstone. Meaty Tribes Arena. That was it? That was That's the whole quest? Teleport. Let's go. Mrs. Livingstone, really kind NPC, gives us a teleport. No need to walk there. All right, well, I guess this is where the video actually starts. So, hi, welcome. I uh, appreciate that you're watching this. I have no idea how I should do this, so maybe let's just get into it. We'll start with just four characters that are built. <laughs> I'll play them, and then I'll bench them for four new characters. I don't know if it's waves or something. Hopefully, we'll get to change characters every time. Anyway, this is my Venti. Here are his main stats. I'll go into the details for you. Uh, you can pause if you want to. I won't go over everything. He is not very good, as you can see. 0% in all of this. <laughs> His weapon is the Stringless right now. Uh, it's just because it has a lot of elemental mastery, which is pretty good, in my opinion. His artifacts, he's on 4-piece very Vanevener. I wasn't even gonna try that one. That was intentional. This is the piece from the meme video that procs uh, 17 times in defense. That could have been Amazing. We have this piece, which is also really good. Attack on this one. I really just couldn't find anything better than this. And all these substats are like good, you know, they're the ones you look for. Then these are always filler, you know. This is just average. And this one's kind of garbage. I don't know. They didn't want to give me any good for Derbadervanerus pieces. So this is my Venti. C0. Alright. Moving on to Ning Wong, who is level 87 and has been 87 ever since I got the AR. That allows you to 90 characters. I ran out of books and then I started making those send this to friends who main videos. Yeah, she never got picked. <laughs> anyway, these are her stats. Uh, max friendship, of course. That's the crit rate and the crit damage, etc. The idea is she's really low crit rate because I tried to get more crit damage on her and then use food and double cryo synergy. If you have two cryos in your party, when something is affected by cryo or is frozen, you gain 15% crit rate and then you also get food. And now with Rosaria in as well, she gives more crit rate to party members. So I can basically get her to like 75% crit rate while she really starts with 20. She still has Eye of Perception, an incredibly good weapon in early game, by the way. If you have this before like AR, I don't know, 40 or 45, please use it. This passive is ridiculously strong. It just hits for, it hits like a truck, really. And if you use it, I would definitely probably go attack, attack, attack on artifacts. Ooh, I should really just level one of these books, by the way. <laughs> I might do that. This is what she is on. She's on Archaic Petra 1 and Gladiator's Finale 1. Uh, you can also go with Noblesse Oblige, but I decided to not go for that. I just put on this piece because it's really good. The feather, really good overall. Uh, this piece is acceptable. Eh, can't complain, pretty good. This is a geo damage thingy. I don't have anything else that's geo damage, unfortunately. I have this thing, but it's also awful. I have this thing that's also awful. And that's the three I have on the account. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's just the best I have, and it's still really bad. And then finally, this piece, which is a four star because it had okay subs, you know. Also, this this is her constellation. Show them for Ning Wong right here. Next up is my Kaching. My Kaching has a ton of health, and I don't know if it's natural or my artifacts are just unlucky. I think she's one of my favorite characters to use. Here are the deets. Uh, weapon. She is on the flute. A lot of people are angry at me for using this, uh, but I kind of like it. I just like the weapon. And I like the little 
little music it makes when you punch people. It's also one of the only swords that I have that are leveled. I hate leveling weapons, so I just kind of do with what I have. This is what set she's on. She's on Thundering Fury 1 and Lava Walker. Lava Walker is just, you know, because the, the, the pieces were pretty good and not enough gladiator stuff for me to really go nuts with. This is one piece, which unfortunately went into HP. This piece, overall, good. A lot of elemental mastery. This is uh, one of those pieces that just has good substats. This is electro damage bonus obviously. Very good piece, a lot of crit damage. And finally, this piece is the most filler piece you'll ever see in your life. I don't want to ruin your eyes more with that. It's just ugly and disgusting. No constellation. And oh yeah, talents. I should show talents. This is how far I got with leveling them. Of course, when I make a video on a character, I want to spend some time leveling talents, but I can't spend that much time because, my god, you know, it, it's <laughs> it takes a lot of takes a lot of resources to level, you know. I level them a little bit. Um, I didn't show her because she's just naked. We'll go with Sucrose last. Is she is she really geared? Not really. <laughs> her artifacts are not leveled. I'll show her though because I'm probably keeping these artifacts on her. I'll just level them. So this is my Sucrose. Uh, this isn't very interesting because my artifacts aren't leveled. She is on the sacrificial whatever thingy because it's pretty cool. You can like use three E's in no time, which is really good if you want to group everything together. This is the artifact set she's on. Uh, four piece Noblesse Oblige. This piece is good, but not if it procs in flat defense. Uh, this piece is also pretty good. It's really supportive though. So this is complete filler. I, you know what? I'm actually going to remove that. I don't, I don't want that piece. It's ugly. Don't put that on your Sucrose. <laughs> Animal damage bonus, energy recharge. This is really good piece. Uh, I want to level it for sure. And then finally, we have the Royale Mask, which has crit rate, uh, attack, and energy recharge is what we want this to proc into, but once again, it's not leveled yet. So I haven't made a Sucrose video yet anyway, but that's how she's looking. All right, so that's four characters. Let's put them in the party and uh, do the first wave or whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of them. So this is good. Welcome to easy mode. Don't sweat it. Art of Cannibal. Okay, welcome to easy mode. Hard, easily. Defeat 20 opponents in, what is it, three minutes? Defeat four Blazing Axe Miniaturals. Sure. <laughs> Alright, Venti's definitely gonna be broken for this mode. I'll use some uh, charge attacks with Kachink, because people were angry in the mains video that I didn't really use them. It's because I love sprinting around all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do in the game. Like that guy. <laughs> he also loves sprinting. He sprinted right into my thing. Also, there you can see the book proking with Sucrose. I could have waited a little bit there, because uh, my E cooldown was almost up and using my Q reset the E again, so... Uh, problem with this comp, except for Ning Wong, I don't really have a lot of... Like single target damage. Here we go. We're doing some pretty acceptable damage. Look at this quadra no. swirl. So much swirling around. <laughs> and we are done. Not yet. Still not done. This guy's pretty tanky. All right, there you go. Challenge complete. We did all the thingies. Exiting the stage now. Epic. Oh, that's that's it. I thought we were gonna maybe be requeued. Anyway, that's the first four. I picked four other characters and put them in my party. This is my boy Diluc, probably the person I've invested the most time in, and yet there's still no Diluc main video for one main reason. I still don't have a pyro damage cup. Hey Terry, you want some? This is empty. Yay! It doesn't exist in my game files. It won't give me one. Here are his stats. I think it's nothing crazy. Uh, this is just default Diluc that has 15% resistance in everything, I guess. Or maybe it's because he has a big sword. I don't know. So I'm talking about this one. <laughs> My Diluc's on Wolf's Gravestone. Uh, for a very long time, he was on the prototype arcade. I got this and I was like, yeah, I mean, cool. Come on, it looks like a cool sword. Cool Diluc uh, Red Red. It's level 80. Again, didn't want a 98. I'm lazy. Here are his artifacts. They are very smelly, so make sure to put on a nose peg or something. This is his... Uh, oh, why am I doing this to myself. You guys are interested in this, but I'm just getting sad. <laughs> this piece is pretty good, I guess. It's not. It's just not. It has crit rate and crit damage. That's about it. This is attack. As you can see, I've had this probably since like level 60 on Diluc. I don't have anything better than this. I probably do, okay, but it's 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 not good enough for what I want. Uh, this piece is also very bad. Uh, it's a cup, apparently. This is what you call a cup. I didn't know that. Very, very, very bad. Very bad. And this one is pretty good, but it's attack percent, and we want crit damage, probably, or crit rates. Not that juicy. This is very 
bad gear, but Diluc is really strong as a character, so he just, you know, does well anyway. Also, of course, it's a four-piece Crimson Witch of Flames set. He has C1. I guess some of you would say lucky, and some of you would say unlucky. I would say unlucky, because I had no other five-star than Diluc, and I got C1 Diluc, so I obviously would have preferred getting anyone else. Uh, this is a character that I'm, like, willing to crown, and I would have done it if I, uh, had this, but I'm lazy and I don't want to farm the books. That's your boy Diluc right there, so very underwhelming, believe it or not. Now, our main girl, Rednos, it's me. Yeah, I called I called Lumine me, of course, but the more I think about it, the more I feel like this should have just been Lumine as well. Here are her stats. I'm starting to think, does she have all gear? Because she used to have 22k health. She's also level 87, like Ning Wang. She has a lot of elemental mastery. Uh, the weapon she's on is Prototype Rancor. Now, don't get me wrong, normally she'd be on this Festering Desire, that's what she was on for the video anyway. She's not because I have many sword characters that I've had to make videos for recently that needed the sword more than she did because I didn't really use her in the meantime, so this is a filler sword, you never really you never really put this on her. Uh, let's look at the constellation. Wow, it's full. Can you believe it? I've played the story. Talents, Palm Vortex leveled because it's just the coolest skill in the game. Artifacts. So this is a flower that's just beautiful it makes me want to hop around in a f flower field or something or take a dive in a pool of chocolate i don't know what i'm saying it's just a really good piece this one is also a really good piece i wish it didn't proc into defense twice but oh yeah this is this is definitely filler uh this piece is pretty good it's a little bit of a supportive animal damage uh piece finally we have the conductor's top hat which is a filler item i've definitely Definitely stolen this and put it on someone else. Before you get mad at me, yes, she's on Four Piece Wanderer's Troop. Again, this isn't because I'm like, oh yeah, increased damage. I know it doesn't work because she doesn't use a catalyst nor a bow. Um, it's really just because these were the pieces I had that were available. I would have put a gladiator set on her if I had it, which I just don't. Again, before we keep going as well, I want you to know, I'm not saying this is the best way to build your characters. I'm saying this is how I build them. There is absolutely better ways, and there's absolutely better pieces. Because I can already see the comments telling me, You're a moron! You don't go four-piece Wanderer's Troop on Lumine! I know. <laughs> I know, but I don't care. I'm just out here to have a good time. There, we've got that covered, just in case. Here's Kaya, that I used to call Kaya, just flexing as always, doing cool little tricks. These are his stats, 69 Elemental Mastery. <laughs> hey, let's go. His weapon is the Dull Blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you know what? I don't. Th I think my Kaya did no damage because I didn't have a weapon on him when I made the video. I really hope I did put something on him during that video because his damage was awful. These are his artifacts that have definitely been fillered. This is a piece that was on Ning Wong for the longest time. <laughs> that probably explains the awful damage. He is on a uh, one set blizzard strayer thingy. Again, he probably wasn't a four set piece before I stripped some pieces off him. This is an acceptable piece. Here is his plume very bad piece starting to understand why my kaya dealt no damage that video you know this is a maxed i believe piece right you can't go higher than this yeah <laughs> that has 20 percent attack i really should have just put anything on here i'm not respecting my kaya he uh isn't a cryo damage thingy that i never leveled up although it is really good i don't know why i didn't level this up this is like a filler piece i'm gonna lock it and finally there's this crit rate thing that is really good it has 20 percent attack of course, no crit damage, no elemental mastery, no energy recharge, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And finally, we got the Princessin der Verurteling. What are you, what, are, what is he, how, how do you Princessin der Verurteling? It sounds so ugly. I, my German accent is like, ah, die Princessin der Verurteling. I don't know if that's right. It doesn't sound that right. <laughs> Anyway, these are her stats. She's missing three artifacts. I Never mind. I, I won't show you her because, I mean, this is just... She doesn't really... She's been stripped. Although this piece is really good. And this piece is also really good. Maybe I was rebuilding her or something. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I was rebuilding her. Because I was going to use her with Sucrose. Let's do this run. Fortunately, she's with Diluc who can carry. Oh, let's claim this. Yoink. Don't sweat it. Uh, damage dealt by electro charge reactions is greatly increased. Great, I don't have anything electro on my party. Don't hey, look, it's like a bite. Kaya trial. Look at the brothers going ham. Actually, we do have electro charge. Let I need to be go. careful because you do take a lot of damage and we're not allowed to let anyone die. All right, these bubbles are just actual doom. I'm just scared of whenever they're gonna start spawning the stupid my abyss mage or something. Cooling. Go, Lumine! <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty satisfying still, don't you think? Huh, this is really going pretty well. Immo. How's that timer look? 180 seconds, because I don't have that. I only have the timer that keeps resetting itself. You're you're out of here. 69, 69, wow. Today's just my day, I think. Defend. Did we do it? 
Oh, cool. I'm just saying, you don't need the best gear to do the best things. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day. Razor, here are his stats. I didn't really understand how to build him at the time. You really just want physical damage on him. He is holding this thing. Uh, I think there's that sword we got for free, this one. That is on Chongyun, by the way. Don't, don't look at it, I know. I know you don't want that on Chongyun. Uh, he's on One Piece Gladiator's finale, but he used to definitely have... He used to have a different set as well. Maybe, actually, he used to have... Yeah, four piece gladiators finale. All right, piece. Same story here. This is a good piece, but it's for some reason wanderer's troop, which you don't want. Here is the physical damage. So as, as you can see, I was split again. My my account just loves rolling into all defense. And finally, this piece, which has a lot of crit rate, not bad. His constellation is three. The only thing I leveled up is his Q and E, or his auto, sorry, and. Q, not his E. Barbara. This is still the same Barbara from the first uh, Send This to Your Friends video I ever made. Here is her weapon. She is on Skyward Atlas. This is actually a very interesting build that I, I think no one uses this set, but I thought it'd be funny to use it. Here is a very good piece that I should move on to someone else. She is on Gladiator's Finale and Martial Artist. Then we have this Gladiator's Destiny. It was really just to get the 18% attack from the set, though. Hey, what's this? Wait, we're just... Benching that, hello? So I'm gonna switch this, and now my Barbara is even stronger. Martial Artist, which increases normal attack and charged attack damage by 15%, which I thought was really cool. I think it's a really cool and neat little thing that no one really uses. Next, we have the little cup, Hydro Damage Cup. These subs aren't great, and it was probably the only Hydro Damage Cup I had. Finally, we have a little Conductor's Top Hat. Constellation, as I said, I got two Barbaras earlier when I was trying to get Rosarios. In how good is that? Here are her skills. I skilled up her first skill, because as I said, martial artist, first skill damage. So I'm not here to heal, I'm here to do damage. So that's my Barb. And uh, stop dancing, please. I think she's really good. Yeah, really happy with my Barbara, and I still kind of want to 80 her, but that would mean... Uh, oh, she did gameplay. No thanks. You're it again, Bert. Alright, gone you. But she's level 52. Why is that, you think? I pulled her like 16 times and no one ever wants to see her. I have so many clips for Ganyu. Here are her stats. You can pause it if you want. She is on Amos, Amos's bow, Amos. Uh, probably the best bow in the game for her. This is actually intentional. Four piece Wanderer's Troop because she is a bow user and you do use the charge stack all the time. This is a very good piece. This one is acceptable. It also procced pretty well, so I don't mind it. Um, this is a very bad piece. Here is the little cryo damage uh, thingy, which only has good substats. And finally, she's on attack and not on crit damage. She has no constellation, obviously. She has barely been skilled up, and that's also because, I mean, I only want to skill up her first skill, but also she's level 57 or something, so I can't go further than level 4. And finally, my naked Beto, who has one piece. What does this thing do? Crit rate? And it's all garbage. Um, I did level up her, her second skill a little bit, uh, and she has C4, like the explosive. Boom! Uh, <laughs> just you from. Trade I'm always ready. I don't. I'm okay. Thank you. Art of the cannonball. Plunging attacks will transfer the impact of your body and absorbs to the entire ring. Let's try and beat this. No touching. I saw it late. There we go. All right, that's that's exciting. I'm physical damage too. <laughs> A little bit, I guess. I don't know if this is like better damage to be honest. Look at this barb damage. <laughs> She's actually almost better than Razor here, I think. Oh, that's the wrong character. I meant to use Razor. 69 everywhere again, you see this? <laughs> this is the most 69 I've ever gotten in a video. All right, let's end the sentence there. <laughs> I might actually not make this. 40 seconds, okay, I need to quiet down. Actually, make sure I get this. All right, this is gonna be a Ganyu diff, it seems. Oh, I missed. It's gonna be a me being good or bad at the game diff. How did I miss these? Okay, we've we've lost. Ah, uh, how am I this bad at the game? Uh, challenge again. I will defeat all of you this time. Please don't die, Razor. You're gonna ruin the run. But how OP would it be if you just brought Venti? Okay, Barb. <laughs> okay, Barb. I see you. Barbara doing some plunge damage. I thought maybe I should only do it with uh, Razor, but I guess not. Even if I keep missing like an absolute moron. What is going on? Uh, uh, uh. All right, we did it. My god. That was not as easy as I would have hoped with these ungeared characters. Sure. All right, nice. Let's uh, trade these for the last characters that do have gear. Again, I'm not showing you the rest because it's void. 
those characters don't have any gear. I completely forgot to cover Xingxu and Bennett, so let's do that right now. Uh, Xingxu is level 80. Here's his tats, but here's his tats. He doesn't have any tats. Here are his stats, is what I meant to say. This sword is really good. It just has a lot of crit damage. He's on double note, bless oblige. This is a good piece. This is a garbage piece. This one is really good. I really like this piece a lot. This is also pretty good. And this piece could be crit damage instead. Constellation, C6. He's really high skilled up on these two. Here is our boy Benny. Same story here. Basically the same stats as Xingxu. And he used to have that sword that Xingxu now has. Uh, here is his weapon now. It's this thing. He's on one set Noblesse Oblige and one Crimson Witch of Flames. Pretty good piece. This one's awful. But then we have this piece, which has a bunch of great substats. Pyro Damage Cup, of course. And then we have crit damage with no subs that matter at all. It's really just crit damage to deal crit damage for fun. He is C1. He's uh, skilled up on his last skill only. Here we go. I will always go extreme difficulty. 40k. Is this really the cheese? Do you really just have to... Okay, it looks like it is the cheese. No, please. Get out of here. Yeah, big nose. The lower your character HP is the greater their attack bonus. Okay. All right. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm out of here. Ugh! New comp. This video is gonna be 16 hours long. Yay. Fat hits gone, you please. Ah, but come on. No. Oh, that was so disgustingly close. It's the same story, guys. It's gonna be a close one. Oh my god, I'm so bad at the game. Might still be okay, yeah. I, I missed <laughs> I missed two point blank. Uh, normal and charge attack speed is increased. The stamina cost of charge attacks is decreased. Damage dealt by charge attacks. Okay, so D Luke's gonna have a great time. Hey lads, let me show you what D Luke has to say. I can't hit him. You're too tall. <laughs> I just want to hold charge attack this entire game. Jesus! All right, I'm dealing damage now. That's the extra attack from Wolf's Gravestone right there. Think you can get away? <laughs> This is so OP. I can't get over how OP Venti is. Give up. Does this work too, actually, as charged attack? Oh my. Very symbolic to finish this with a held attack from Dilu. Oh my god! 17k, 17k. Alright, nice. So tomorrow is the last one in 13 hours. I can I can record that still. I, I really hope you enjoyed the video so far. Again, I've never really done something that was this unguided in a way, you know? I haven't really made a video like this ever, so I'm not sure if this is what you'd like to see. If it's really garbage, please let me know so I don't make one again. Or let me know what I can change, so I can maybe make one again, but make it better. Alright, how's it going everybody? I finished editing yesterday's part, this is the day after, so we can now finish this event. Let's try and keep it short, I'll get into it. <laughs> I'll probably only show you when I'm done. Let's do it. Hardest difficulty. Yeah, I'm dead already. Your life is mine! Oh, he pushed me out! He pushed me out, that's absolutely unfair. Turn around, Nick. Whoa! And bop, bam, boop, skip, bop. What a run, guys. We did it. And that's that. It looks like we are finished with the event because I have this thingy right here. Complete all challenges and contending tides. 32 in the battle pass. Wow, 12 little mystic enhancement ores. How amazing is that? Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm not sure if this is something that you enjoy or not. Let me know. I do want to try some commentaries on other games soon-ish, so we'll get on that as well. Yeah, let me know. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.